So my name is Dixon Mwangangi, a volunteer of Kenya Red Cross Society and I'm also a youth leader. What motivates me to apply for the Limitless is the passion that I have for the youth, not only within my area but uh, across the globe. So my motivation behind this is to have a situation whereby youth have meaningful engagement, youth are involved in activities that keep them busy and activities that add value to the community. And through this application, youth will be able to be engaged and therefore So the, the, this innovation would specifically focus on life loot restoration after COVID-19 pandemic and this one will be through uh, food production by use of technology. So the same uh, will help in addressing the issues of uh, mental health because we'll be having some trainings and through those trainings for agricultural activities then we'll be able to incorporate with uh, psychosocial support to the people who will be engaged in the training. The same case, we are also hoping to address the issues of uh, school dropouts to those girls who got pregnant during the closure of the schools. Mm -hmm. The initial idea that I have for livelihood diversification is to have a situation whereby community members led by the youth adopt hydroponic farming. And this is a farming that requires technology and does not use soil. So it has been proved to be more efficient because it uses 90% less of water than the normal farming. Again, the farmers does not require chemicals and therefore the crops that are planted does not uh, have more fertilizer, hence it's more efficient for human consumption. This will ensure that we have enough food, youth will be engaged, and after training the youth can also be trainers. And